What is up? How's it going? This is Kazi from CleverProgrammer.com. In this video, I want to talk about why I dropped out of college as a programmer. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. There are many factors to this. I recently made a video called Do I Need College to Become a Programmer? Which is a great video. You should check it out. We'll pop it up here somewhere. But with that said, I do want to talk about the, the pros and the cons of college and when you should decide which route you need to go, okay? So I'm going to talk about all those concepts in this video. So for, first of all, I'm going to start off with you have to know why it is that you are actually going to college in the first place, okay? That's something important for you to actually understand because if you are trying to, like I said in my other video, trying to become a doctor or a lawyer then you might need college and you might need the degree. Otherwise, it's impossible, right? You need to have that bar exam as a lawyer to get become a lawyer. Now, when it comes to computer programming, if you're trying to become a data scientist, it helps to have a degree. A lot of data scientists have their PhDs. But if you're trying to become a full stack developer, a front end developer, a back end developer. Now, look, if you want to become a doctor or a lawyer, you're probably going to need to go to college. But if you want to become a web developer, a full stack developer, front end developer, maybe it's not so necessary, right? When it comes to programming. So depends on what you are trying to do. But I think what's deeper to understand about this question or this video topic, you know, if you're clicking on it and watching it and you're thinking, why did Kazi drop out of college? My hunch is you're trying to figure out what might justify it for you to drop out of college and what are the conditions where you can make that decision because it's a very important decision of your life. It was one of the most important decisions of my life. I dropped out of college after uh, about two and a half years. I went to a community college, uh, Oakton Community College for two years. Then I went to UIC, which is a university in Chicago. And I essentially ended up dropping out of that after going there for one year. The biggest point that I want to get across here for you is earn your way out of college. Okay, It's not, please don't feel privileged enough to just pack your shop and drop out at some random point. Understand that you need to actually earn your way out of it. So what do I mean by that? If you're considering dropping out and you're like, hey, there are a lot more practical things I can do in the real world. I can work on real world projects, get real experience instead of maybe sometimes just learning theory. Well, don't just pack up your shop and drop out. The first thing you need to do is prove to yourself that you're capable of surviving on your own. Personally, for me, why I dropped out was because I started getting freelancing opportunities and I was already doing software development work outside of college while I was going to college. I had other developers who started working under me as well that I started managing. I hired them from Upwork and then I managed them. They were brilliant developers, they were really good. And then I was the middleman between them and the client because I was a good enough programmer and then I could just handle the client's expectations and I could handle communicating between the software developers to make sure that the project was moving forward. What ended up happening was I was starting to earn over six-figure income while I was going to college. And then I remember while, I remember my professor at UIC, my computer programming professor, he came up to me and he asked me uh, one day about, he started asking me about career advice. And he actually sent me an email as well asking about that. I thought, okay, if my professor is asking me about career advice, then maybe it might be a good time for me, or maybe it's a sign that I'm already doing something right. So I thought, let me just take one semester off and start pursuing this on my own. But please keep in mind that I was already earning enough. I didn't just randomly drop out. So it also depends on your level of tolerance to say how much risk you can handle. Some people are really risk averse. Um, um, Aaron, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's right there. He's He likes to play a little safe, so maybe for him, it's better to go to college and he would still go on to kick ass in life. For me, I had a, just a different way of going about things, okay? Everybody has their own way, so decide what works 
for you. That's really important. But for me, it was, okay, if I'm working on enough projects already and I'm making an income, maybe I can just drop out. So I took one semester off and then in that semester off, I wanted to see how I would do on my own. And also my channel Clever Programmer, it started to get a few more subscribers. I wasn't making any money off of it, but it started to get more subscribers. I was like, okay, because I already have clients and I've already figured it out, I'm gonna be safe. And that's kind of what happened. And that semester off, I started earning even more income. I started getting more software development jobs and my channel was also growing more. And at that point, I decided, I believe, 20, January of 2017 was where I really decided that I was gonna be dropping out of college completely. So that's when I really decided, when things were already taking off, I was getting results, I survived two, three months after taking a semester off, and then I said, okay, so January of 2017, I'm like, around that time, right? January, February was where I decided, okay, cool, I'm gonna drop out at this point because I think I can handle myself I am able to not only survive but thrive and um, I essentially ended up dropping out of college, okay? Also, I had a lot of, I found mentors who I was learning from. So for me, it's also really important to understand that school is just one resource you learn from. When I talk about dropping out of college and why it helped me so much, people think I'm pro not being educated being stupid, no, that's not, that's not what I'm promoting. I am learning every single day. And for people who are learning on their own every single day, right, you're self-taught, which I know a lot of you have the capability of doing, and a lot of you probably are, who are learning programming and are getting into this field, and you've even shown enough interest to watch this video on your own, which 90% of the world isn't ever gonna do. You can start to, once you're learning on your own every time, then, you just start to see college as just one resource where you're getting a little bit of your knowledge from. That's essentially it. So if you're learning on your own, making progress, growing every day, then it's not really necessary, right? But if you are somebody who's not learning on your own every day, and that's your only place where you're learning from, then you kind of need it, right? Because if you don't go, then you're not gonna become anybody, right? You're just gonna be useless in life. Those are my thoughts on why I dropped out of college as a programmer. Please understand, just to recap, earn your way out of college, number one, which is the most important point, so prove to yourself while you're going to college that you can actually drop out, and two, you need to see which field you're going in. If there is a field that guarantees, um, you know, you cannot get a job without getting a degree, then you need to probably get a degree. Okay, but for example, people who become, uh, let's say, if you if you want to become a cinematographer, you want to become a videographer, you want to become an editor, you could get you could go to school and get a degree, and you will learn really well, and you'll be amazing. You could also get jobs on your own, right? So that's one field where you know that whether you get a degree or not, you'll still be able to find work. So just pick and choose, figure out in programming world. What are the fields that need a degree? And then go from there. With that said, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a little like, really helps out the channel. Drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts and then I can jump in there and engage with you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always, I love your face and I'll see you in the next video. If you want to become a developer that makes an impact in the world and you want the freedom to work from wherever you want, I've put together an epic, unbelievable three-part masterclass. It's absolutely free. Go on this link that I've put in the video below, put in your name and your email, hit enter, and I will unlock and send the training your way for this epic masterclass.